Hello, Internet. Hello, Henry. It's Sam Rubenstein. It's after campfire. It's 1-19-2021, which means that tomorrow Joe Biden becomes president, and maybe, just maybe, things will become better. I don't know. I won't know until afterwards. I'm so tired. <laughs> Let's get started with this video. Step one. I'm tired. Step two. Hello, Henry. Step three. Ah. Step four. I have not been a functioning person who's been sleeping because I've been super busy doing all sorts of things that are existing. Um, that are, are not the things that I'm currently doing. Why does this matter, you ask? This matters because, um, I'm going to be yawning and sad and sleepy throughout this entire thing. You have to understand, Saturday is the virtual campfire and reunion that I am putting on. Almost entirely alone. Carly's helping too. Ha! <laughs> I just keep watering because they're so tired. I didn't ask for any of this. I just, I just, I just wanted to be a division director, man. I just. I just wanted to be a division director. So this is Saturday. This is the campfire and the reunion. Then next Saturday I move. And the Saturday after that I'm doing a live show. Which means that anytime anyone wants to be my friend, they should stop that and reconsider the decision. Because I'm dying. <laughs> I want to go to bed it's so bad. I just. <sighs> go to the reunion on Saturday. It's going to be great. You know why it's going to be great? Because I worked really, really hard on it. I worked so hard on it. My brain doesn't work anymore because I worked so hard on it. Hey, oh, hey, oh, I need a nap. Oh, boy. Um. I move into my new apartment on the 1st, which is going to be hopefully nice and exciting and great. And um, I realistically move in on, oh my god, my after campfire is going to be when I move in. <laughs> Who wants a nap? I wants a nap. Who wants a nap? I want a nap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was gonna... Yeah, so my life is a mess. Um, but it's okay. Because after February 6th, it's gonna be less of a mess. And I'm gonna be able to do the things I wanna do. And Henry knows what those things are. Um, because we talk outside of this. That's, that's part of what makes you so weird, is that Henry and I talk anyway. Um... So with that said, um, I asked Henry help. I'm still tired though. <laughs> Nothing is getting better. Help! We just need to survive, like the first hundred days. Hopefully, hopefully we can survive the first hundred days, starting with tomorrow. <sighs> help! Um, oh, help! I don't have anything else to say. Tomorrow's the inauguration. The city of Washington, D.C. shut down because straight up people are like, we're just going to go into the city and kill people. And I'm like, don't do that. And they're like, we're going to. Why? Well, I've lost all control of reality. And I think that maybe, just maybe, the Orange Cheeto Man is my god. And if you think that, you're stupid. Um, the more that we have found out about the events of, uh, of two weeks ago, the more we find out that people are crazy. So crazy.
And people want to pretend like, oh, they're just redneck. No, these are like high profile people, people, Olympic athletes, conservative judges, members of major organizations, CEOs, all just attacking the country because they think their orange Cheeto man lost, uh, won and shouldn't have lost. And they're mad because they don't know how the democracy works. And they're like, ah, I don't think this is right. And the rest of us are saying, ah, who cares what you think? You believe in a Cheeto monster pretending to be a person. The moral of this story is, help, things keep getting worse. Um, but hopefully maybe after Monday they won't be, uh, Monday, Wednesday they won't be as worse. I don't know. I would like to know. I'm not gonna know. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Breathe. Ah. Um. That's my answer to myself is maybe it'll be okay. We just need to get through these next hundred days. I don't know. There are stupid people out there who believe in the Cheeto potato. You know, the one with the tiny little sausage fingers, they look like little Smokies. Um, what else is important? Oh yes, Henry asked me a question. Henry said, if I could make a laws to prevent this, what would I make? My first laws wouldn't be laws. I just would give funding to education. Kids are so stupid. People are so stupid. We live in a world filled with stupid people. Um, the American education system is hot garbage. Just super hot garbage. I would know I'm a teacher. And the biggest issue that I consistently see all the time, every time, each time, every day, all day, is that kids just straight up don't get how um, the world works. And they then ask their parents, who also don't get how the world works. And so there's this just regurgitation of nonsense that hurts me on a a level that I can only describe as aggressively personal. Why does this matter, you would ask? This matters because um, these are the kids that are going to grow up to be the future. <laughs> the next thing I would do to get rid of this, I would just get rid of, you know, um, student debt because that's negatively affecting the ability to move up economically as a young person, therefore limiting our ability to affect politics, laws, and anything else in the world, uh, effectively infantilizing, infantilize, infantile, infantilizing an entire generation um, and forcing them out of the ability to succeed. The third thing that I would probably really, 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 really work on is the not so much the limitation of news media, but there's this concept of if you give everyone a blow horn, the person who's screaming nonsense gets all the attention. That's not me saying it like in a mean way. That's just a fact. If I'm here and I'm screaming just nonstop facts, it's a lot all at once, you're going to tune me out. But if one person out there is screaming goofy from the, from the Mickey Mouse franchise eats children over and over again, you're going to eventually not believe him, but go, hmm, but what if Goofy is eating children? Meanwhile, I'm out there giving a whole explanation, and you can't even hear me because Goofy eats children. And it's not like, it's, I don't know. I feel like we need to figure out a way to not give people who are screaming Goofy eats children a megaphone, which is what we're really good at doing, apparently, and I don't like it. Um... And, yeah, that's my answer to your question, Henry, is just those three things. Let's focus on education, uh, economic growth, and limiting stupid people from talking too much, too loudly. And I don't mean that, like, I want to limit people from being able to have opinions. I just don't think everyone should have the same voice. I should not have, like, and this includes me, like, I should not have the same voice on a topic um, that I know nothing about 
as you know, a professional in that field, because I am not a professional in that field. I should be able to ask questions and learn as much as possible, but I should not have the same voice with no actual knowledge or opinions. That's just how it works. Um, and with that in mind, I'm going to ask Henry this question. Henry, what do you think about the newest? Actually, no. I'm going to do. I'm going to change my entire direction here. Henry, I saw this the other day. There's so many, so many streaming sites now, Henry. There's so many streaming sites. Which is the best one? But also, I'm going to add to that statement of not only which is the best one, but what do we do now that there's so many? How do we, what, what do you think is going to happen to the streaming industry now that there's just too many streaming sites? That's it. Bye-bye.